What up, though? Shout out to everybody who subscribed to the channel, liking my video, and viewing my video. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and like the video. Why not? Fuck it. It's free. The Vikings beat the New York Jets with a dog-ass game. The Vikings defense came to play today. And I was very, very fucking shocked. The Vikings defense showed up, and the Vikings offense didn't show up today. But the defense held it down. Minnesota Vikings is now 10-2. Is in full control of the NFC North with a game next week at the Lions. And the Lions just beat the shit out of Jacksonville. It was like it was 40 to 14. But damn. But I'm gonna talk more about the Minnesota and the New York Jets game. Minnesota offense. They ass ain't coming to play today. Dalvin Cook did. Dalvin Cook ran the ball. He ran the ball good as hell. He had 86 yards on 20 carries with a touchdown. The Vikings winning the game up 20 to 6 at half at halftime. And Minnesota only scored seven fucking points. Since halftime, only seven points. But the Minnesota Vikings came up big versus the Mac White, Mike White. They had like two goal line stop in the fourth quarter that really sealed the game for Minnesota. Minnesota defense came out today. They defense played way motherfucking better than what the fuck I expected. But Minnesota offense got to get better. For some reason, the Minnesota offense is not clicking on all cylinders. I've been saying this. To me, Minnesota offense is missing something. They go too much in the fucking shell too much. There should be no way that game came down the way it came down. The final score was 22 to 27 with Minnesota defense making Making a few two goal lines stops, I believe with two. It was for sure one. I think it was two. Then they got the ball back on the one, on their own one yard line. Pumped the ball back to New York with like a minute and thirty seconds left with no timeouts with New York. But Minnesota defense at the end of the game came up with a big interception that sealed the game. That's how you play motherfucking defense. Minnesota defense came out, dog. But Minnesota got to get that motherfucking pass game together, man. We're getting too close to the playoffs and too deep in the season for Minnesota offense to look the way they looking. I don't want to hear none of that shit. The New York Jets defense, this and that. No, I fuck all that. They won at halftime. The score was 20 to 6. And they scored one fucking touchdown in two fucking quarters. Hell fuck no, that's unacceptable. But Minnesota did, they did come out with a W. And they got a big game next week against Detroit. I want to say Minnesota win next week at Detroit. They win the NFC North. But Detroit is on the motherfucking, Detroit balling right now. Detroit beat the fuck out of Jacksonville. And I do not know why Jacksonville put their quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, or what the fuck his name is, back in the game after he had got hurt with like a knee injury. And they, and they already were getting blown out. That was dumb as hell. Like chalk that shit up as chalk that shit up as an L and come back next week. He shouldn't even seen the field again. But I ain't gonna lie, Detroit Lions is a scary ass team right now. 
And I want to say, damn, the 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 um the commanders and the giants, they tied in overtime. So I don't know what that should do for the Lions, you know, in the playoff race for that last seed for the NSC North, but that's just my update right after the um the Vikings game. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, and it's free. Why not support this shit? Thank you.